start you on your way? Didn't he put food on your table? Amen. I heard the cry say God is able. Amen. God is able to do anything but fail. Amen. Whatever you need, my God has it. Amen. Amen. So we ask you so as a man to join in with us. Amen. For this is the day that the Lord has made. And we shall rejoice and be glad in it. Amen. Y'all glad to be here today? 
Amen. So we're going to give God some praise. Amen. Philippians, the fourth chapter, beginning at the fourth verse. Rejoice in the Lord always, and again I say, rejoice. Let your moderations be known unto all men. The Lord is at hand. Be careful for nothing, but in everything by prayer and supplication, with thanksgiving, let your requests be made known unto God. And the peace of God, which passes all understanding, shall keep your hearts and minds through Christ Jesus. Amen. Amen. Let us pray. Gracious God, our Heavenly Father, we bow in the most humblest way that we know how. Thank you, your Heavenly Father, for our last night's rest and our uprising this morning. It wasn't the alarm clock that woke us up, God, but it was a touch from you. You let our golden years run on a little while longer, and we say thank you. We thank you, Father, for your new mercies that you have given us today. We thank you, O oh God, for your grace. We thank you for favor with you and with man. And God, we thank you for opening up doors for us that no man can close and closing doors that no man can open. Father God, you said whatever need we need to seek and we will find. Knock and the door shall be opened. Ask and it shall be given unto us. Thank you, Father. We thank you, Father, that you don't withhold no good thing from those who walk upright before you. So we thank you, Father, for, for everything. We thank you in everything. For God, we know that you rule and you super rule the heavens and the earth. We know you own everything. We know the cattle on a thousand hills belong to you. Houses and land belong to you. We know that whatever we need, Lord God, you got it. So God, we say thank you today for meeting and supplying our every need. Father, we send your word to those that are sick today. Your word declares that by Jesus' stripes they are already healed. Amen. According to 1 Peter 2.24, that is exactly what your word says. Amen. So God, we ask it according to your word. Yeah. And if we ask anything according to your word, we know that you hear us. Yeah. 
And because you hear us, God, we know that we have the petitions that we desire of you. Thank you, Heavenly Father. We pray for those that are on the battlefield today, God. We pray, oh God, that you will cover them, Lord God, and keep them safe from all hurt, harm, and danger. You said there was going to be wars and rumors of wars, but God, you said the end has not come yet. Father, we thank you that we have a beginning and we have an ending. And God, we know that if we put our trust in you, our ending is we're going to be in heaven one day with you to rule and to reign. And we say, God, thank you. Father, we pray for those who are prison bound. Your word says you came to set the captives free. Forever every yoke of bondage was nailed to the cross so that we can be free from all things in Christ Jesus. Oh, God. In Christ Jesus. Your son, Lord God, that you sent so that all the world might be saved. Oh, God, thank you. Your word says it's not your will that any should perish, but all should come to repentance. If anybody go to hell, you didn't send them. They sent themselves. God, we say thank you today, because you are a good God, and there's no good besides you. Father, we... Pray for those who thought it not robbery to come to your house today to hear a word from you. Father, give them listening ears that they may hear what your spirit is saying on today because you got an answer to whatever is them on today. And God, we're going to praise you. We're going to lift your name on high. Because your word says you inhabit the praises of your people. Father God, you hear and you will answer prayer. Thank you, Father God. We know that you're here because you are not our present God. You're everywhere at the same time. Father, use our pastor today. Put a word in his mouth, Lord God. That he may speak speak to those who are weary on today to encourage them in their spirits Lord God that they can run on a little while longer because you are with us in every situation that you won't leave us and Lord God you won't forsake us but you will be with us even until the end of the age thank you Lord God Bless his family, Lord God. Keep them together, Lord God. A family that prays together, stays together. And we thank you, God, that you continue to shower your blessings down upon him. Thank you, God, for giving him seven years with New Prospect Baptist Church. And we pray, oh God, that there will be many, many, many more years to come. Father, we love you and we praise you. And we bless your holy name on today. This is my prayer. Amen. Amen.
July 29th to the 31st, beginning each evening at 7 p.m. Dr. Ronnie Williams, pastor of the Generosity Baptist Church, will be the guest preacher. The choir staff will the music on any night that is convenient for you. We look forward to worshiping with you. This is from the Beaverdam Baptist Church family. Reverend Dr. O.T. Hill is the pastor. To the pastor, officers, choir, and the members, greetings in the name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. The New Bethel Baptist Church family chorus invites you to their annual homecoming and revival services. will begin on Sunday, August 4th at 2.30. Reverend Dr. Vivian Petrus Wilson, pastor of the Trinity Abbey Zion Church in Woodland, will be the guest preacher. Revival services, August 5th through the 7th, will begin each evening with Reverend Sterling Hill Sr. will be the guest preacher. Your choir is asked to render music on any night that is convenient for you. Come help us lift up the name of Jesus. Bible service will begin nightly at 7 p.m. We are asking your choir to render a selection for our service. We are looking forward to fellowshipping with you. Thank you in advance, Reverend. Um, thank you in advance, New Hope AME Church. Reverend Michael A. Prentice Jr. is the pastor. Amen. Amen. Revive us, O Lord, as we celebrate the Freedom, Freedom Church. Invites you to celebrate with us on Sunday, August 11, 2024, at 2 p.m. We will have our annual Monday revival and 12th church anniversary. Reverend Christina Posey of Mount Carey and Union will break the bread of life. The celebration will begin at the Woodland Community Center located at 116 South Main Street, Woodland, South Carolina. If you are unable to join us, please keep us in your prayers. Yours in Christian love, the Freedom Church. Dear Woodland Community member, the Summer District 4 Teachers Forum was established in 2020 with the goal to encourage educators and create relationships with each other and with you in our community. Teacher forums begin at state level to advocate and encourage our peers, students, and the community. Our goal for this year are, here are to encourage and support our faculty and staff. In order to do this, we have the following events planned and are excited to plan more ways to support the entire District 4 family. Each month, we will like to give teachers a small thank you, snack treat with an encouraging message. We would like to provide all first year teachers a small gift to say welcome to our profession in music. Do a monthly random drawing for each local gift prize card. We need your support to accomplish these goals. There are a variety of ways you can help, including gift card donations. You can sponsor one of the snacks or a monetary donation to help complete all projects. Donations of 25, 50, 100 are very much appreciated. With any donation or sponsorship, we would highlight the business or group as we complete our projects throughout this year. We want our faculty and staff to know that their community supports and appreciates them. Please contact us with any questions or concerns. Thank you in advance for your willingness to help and support our educators. This is from Laura Max, Summer School District 4, Teacher of the Year for 2320. Great Star Ministries giveaways will be the 25th at 8 a.m. Items given on a first-come, first-served basis. District 4 Activity Center. Items needed still are number two pencils, index cards, clear water bottles, backpacks. And these items are on our Amazon wish list. And this is from Mother District 4 Woodland. Amen. Amen. 
give God a hand clap of praise. Like I say, welcome to each and every one of you this morning. Welcome to any visitors that we may have. Happy birthday and anniversary to those that are celebrating birthdays and our anniversaries uh, this week. Uh, yours truly, me and my wife will celebrate our anniversary on Wednesday. Amen. 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 14 years. All right, now. Amen. Also, amen, today is my daddy's birthday. Yeah, the 21st. Oh, his birthday. Amen. Healing list. Please keep those on our healing list in your prayers. Continue praying uh, for Miss Nellie Elmore. I stated on last uh, Sunday that she had been in the hospital the week prior, but she's at home uh, recovering. Also, special prayer request for uh, Miss Barbara Wallace. Uh, y'all may not know her, but y'all know her husband. Her husband is the Reverend C.A. Wallace. Uh, Miss Barbara uh, had a light stroke on last Sunday morning, and uh, she uh, they ran some tests on her and found some other uh, medical issues, and she had uh, emergency surgery on Friday morning. So y'all pray for Miss Barbara Wallace. Amen. Amen. Again, she's the wife of uh, Reverend C.A. Wallace, and also it's a young man in our community. In, in the community of Gaffney. Uh, he's like the radio of our community. He's a guy with special needs, but he, he coaches everything, football, basketball. He got the key to the city. Uh, but this young man is having some very, very difficult days. His name is Terrence Boo Boo Ratchford. Y'all pray for Boo Boo. If you come to Gaffney and say Boo Boo, everybody know you're talking about. But y'all pray for him. He, he's having it real rough uh, right now. Y'all pray for him. Continue praying for all bereaved families. Again, on yesterday, uh, the memorial service for Brother Larry Hunter was held here. So y'all continue keeping uh, Deacon Marion and his uh, children and grandchildren in your prayers. Amen. On behalf of myself and my family, I want to say thank you to each and every one of you, the deacons, deaconess, trustees, all the auxiliaries, the pastor's aid, and definitely the kitchen committee for last Sunday. Amen. Amen. We had a great time with, with Reverend Gaffney and Gethsemane Baptist Church. Uh, it was a wonderful service, wonderful fellowship. Uh, me and him are, are right neck and neck. Y'all voted me in about two weeks before they voted him in. So me and him are about neck and neck uh, as far as being a pastor. And uh, these seven years have been wonderful. They really have. They really have. Amen. So we pray God continue blessings us, blessing us as he sees fit. Amen. 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 Also, on uh, August the 3rd, we will have our biannual church conference. On August the 3rd, we will have our church conference. We'll get back with you next week on the time. But uh, we will have our church conference on August the 3rd. Trustee Craig's brother-in-law will be funeralized Wednesday at New Bethel. Amen. So y'all keep Craig and his family uh, in your prayer. Amen. Again, uh, y'all hear me church conference August 3rd. Amen. Uh, God bless each and every one of you. We pray you all continue uh, having a wonderful, wonderful day and a wonderful summer. Kids, the summer is about up. School will be starting back in about two, two and a half weeks. So uh, y'all continue having fun and enjoying it and be safe and stay out there hot weather. Amen. Get a quiet hand clap as they come. <laughs>
Father Jesus, his son, and we could do nothing without the Holy Spirit. Amen. To Minister Beatty, to our fine deacons, our deaconess, our trustees, yes, our Lord. ushers, our choir, our members, and our friends. Amen. Amen. It's always a good day Amen. to be in the house of the Lord. Amen. Amen. To my children and to the lady who I made her world 14 years ago. Amen. God bless each and every one of you. As you turn your Bible to the book of Isaiah, chapter 40. The book of Isaiah, chapter 40. I'm going to read these familiar verses, and we're going to get out your way. Isaiah, chapter 40. We're going to begin reading at verse 28 through verse 31. Isaiah 40, verses 28 through 31. Amen. When you have it, say amen. 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 Isaiah 40, 28 through 31. I still hear pages turning. That's a good sound in the church house. Amen. Ready? Let's read. Has thou not known, has thou not heard that the everlasting God, the Lord, the creator of the ends of the earth, fainteth not, neither is weary. There is no searching of his understanding. He giveth power to the faint, and to them that have no might he increases strength. Even the youth shall faint and be weary, and the young men shall utterly fall. But they that wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength. They shall mount up with wings as eagles. They shall run and not be weary. And they shall walk and not faint. Amen. Amen. The word of God for the people of God. Amen. Let us pray. Father God, we thank you for this day. We thank you for this opportunity to stand before your people one more time. God, Lord, we pray that we decrease and that you increase. Hide us behind the cross, oh, Father, for we realize we can do nothing without you. God, Lord, we pray that the words of our mouth and the meditations of our heart be acceptable in thy sight, our Lord, our strength, and our redeemer. God, give us the words to say to help your people along this tedious Christian journey. And we'll be so careful to always give your name the honor, the glory, and the praise. In Jesus' precious name, we pray all God's children said, amen. 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 We want to talk from a topic briefly this morning. Lord, help me hold out. Lord, help me hold out. The tendency to quit, to give up, 
can be extremely powerful. Life can deal us a variety of challenges, a variety of circumstances and situations, and oftentimes these challenges are the cause of our desire of wanting to quit, to give up, and throw in the towel. Can I get a witness? I know you have been there. I've been there where I was just wanting to quit. I just wanted to give up. But what I've discovered, my brothers and sisters, is that whenever you have a desire to do great things for the kingdom, to do great things for yourself, to do, do great things for your family, to try to better your condition, then you'll always encounter the challenges of life. Yes. Can I get a witness? Brothers and sisters, life can be trying. Life can be testing. And these yes. tests and trials will sometimes cause us to experience the emotions of fatigue, distress, yes. and loss. Yes. And I got to be transparent this morning, Deacon Briggs, because we are all going through. Amen. Even though we'll see people and they'll look strong, they'll look as if they have it all together, they'll look like they are stable and secure, but behind those closed doors, yes. you really don't know what they're dealing with. Yes. Can I get a witness in here? Yes. And I don't want you to think that you are the only one because that is Satan's master strategy. His yes. master strategy is to make you think you are the only one. Yes. His strategy is to make you think you are the only one catching hell. Make you think you are the only one that's depressed. You are the only one that's down. You are the only one that's broke. You are the only one whose feelings are hurt. But I came to tell you this morning that you are not the only one because we are all in this thing together. Can I get a witness in here? And I've realized, Deacon Hunter, that it's even more difficult for the believer. Because you have to contend with a double a dual enemy. Uh -huh. And it's hard enough dealing with life, but when you have to deal with life and the devil, on, that is a double whammy. Y'all remember that show, don't you? That's a double whammy, amen. And we have to contend with the dual enemy because Satan does not want us to walk in our divine destiny. Amen. Am I right about it? Yes, he doesn't want you to tap in on what God has in you on you all for you. So you'll be confronted with challenges and difficulties. To where sometimes you just hold your hands up and say, Lord, help me hold out. Can I get a witness in here? We have to remember that he who began a good work in us will perform it until the day of Jesus Christ. And that brings us to our first point this morning, Miss Bessie. Amen. Lord, help me hold out. I know in me holding out, it builds my strength and my endurance. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I realize, Trustee Keith, that there's too many weak Christians in this world today. I wish I had a witness in here. It's too many. Amen. We Christians. What do you, you mean, Rev? Amen. They say all the right things, Minister Beatty. Amen. They know how to pray with the best of them. They have took God's word and hid it in their heart like the Bible tells us to do. But when adversity hits their home, when problems start knocking on their door, amen, they forget about God's word. Can I get a witness in here? But I've learned a long time ago, Sister Surratt, that I have to go through tests and trials because tests and trials make me the Christian God needs me to be. Tests and trials, amen, they help me become stronger, amen, because I realize that the race isn't given to the swift nor the strong, but it's given to those who can endure until the end. I realize, amen, that sometimes I have to cry for weeping man endure for a night, but I know morning's coming around eventually. I wish I had some help in here. I wish I had somebody that knew, amen, that we have to go through, but all he is doing is building us up. Am I right about it? Amen. And I heard somebody say, amen, that 
God, amen, the potter wants to put you back together again. And as long as the potter is molding you, as long as the potter is working on you, as long as the potter is working within you, amen, he's going to help you build up the strength and endurance that you need. Am I right about it? Not only holding out helps me build up my strength and my endurance, but also, it helps me to see clearly. It, it, he's adjusting my vision so he can show me the way. Can I get a witness in here? Oh, yes. Amen. When I realize that when I'm going through, amen, when things are tough and rough, amen, that God is helping me see things more clearly. Because y'all know like I got no, amen, sometimes when... Uh, our eyes physically may be bothering us. Amen. We have to look at things multiple times so we can see them clearly. And for those of you in here that goes to the eye doctor, y'all know how it is when your eyes are dilated. Amen. You can't really see for a little while. Can I get a witness? Amen. And when God, amen, spiritually starts to show us stuff spiritually, amen, starts uh, uh, working to help us see clearly, sometimes, amen, it may take us a little longer to see it like he needs us to see it. Amen. And while, amen, he's working on my vision, while he's helping me see it clearly, I have to realize that I have to sometimes say, Lord, help me hold out. Sometimes I want to see things one way, but God wants me to see them his way. Because I learned a long time ago, Miss Ethel, that his ways are not our ways. His thoughts are not our thoughts. Can I get a witness in here? We just read, amen, in verse 28 that we, amen, have no searching of his understanding. We can't understand some of the things that God do. But let me help you real fast. It ain't for you to understand. All you need to do is trust in him. Because we sang the song Sunday after Sunday. We used to when I was coming up. I will trust in the Lord till I die. But what we really need to say is I will trust in the Lord until my problems start happening. I will trust in the Lord until my money start looking funny. I will trust in the Lord until my child starts acting up. I will trust in the Lord, amen, and all I'm trying to tell you is, you can't just trust in him and, and try to acknowledge him and do his will when everything is good, but I'm like the true testament of a Christian is serving him while it's bad. Y'all yeah. yeah. right. remember Job, don't you? Yeah. Job went through some bad times. But Job said a familiar verse, Job said, yet yeah, though he slay me, Yet will I trust him. What Job was telling us is it don't matter if I lose everything I got. I'm still going to trust in the Lord. Because Job realized and Job understood, Lord, help me hold out. Can I get a witness in here? Oh, yes, my brothers and my sisters. As we look here in this book of Isaiah, these familiar verses. It says here, has thou not known, has thou not heard that the everlasting God, the Lord, the creator, fainteth not, neither is weary. There is no searching of his understanding. Unlike me and you, God never gets tired. God doesn't need a break. And that's what I try to tell people when they don't believe what we believe. The people that they serve and, and, and uh, the people that they bow down to, those people are dead now. Amen. But the God that we serve is alive. Amen. The God that we serve, amen, he doesn't need sleep. He doesn't need slumber. Amen. He's always on the job. Can I get a witness? Yes. He's always on his job and he gives power to the faint that them that have no might, he increases their strength. It lets me know, amen, and when I see the word power, and when I think about God, God has all power. When I look in the newspaper, when I talk to me and my wife, and I see that Duke power is going up, I can say Duke power with no emphasis. 
But when I get to talking about the power of the Lord, I have to put a little uh, spark on that P because I realize that his power is what's keeping me. I realize his power is what's holding me. Can I get a witness in here? I realize his power is, is why he's still in control. But the most important verse here, a lot of people love this verse. I have the Bible opened up in my home on this verse. But they that wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength. They shall mount up with wings as eagles. They shall run and not be weary. They shall walk and not faint. My brothers and sisters, there is perhaps nothing that grates on our faith like waiting. Most of us can keep the faith and hold on through the ups and downs of life for a little while, but when the seasons of hardness, amen, of pain and difficulty linger, it can weigh down on all of us. Waiting is a heavy burden of continuing to hope and pray that things will change and get better. And we have to ask God to help us to hold out. Like the songwriter says, my ways not, may not be easy, but the Lord never said that it would be. But when it gets dark and I can't see my way, I'm putting my trust in you. And all I stopped by here this morning to remind you, my brothers and sisters, is that we have to put our trust in the Lord. Can I get a witness in here? So many times we will put our trust in man. So many times I, it bothers me when I see this. I see people that goes to church Sunday after Sunday. And then something happens within the church and they quit going. And it makes me wonder, 3J, were they going for the right reason? Because when you're going for the right reason, it doesn't matter who's the pastor. When you're going for the right reason, it doesn't matter who's the deacon. It doesn't matter who's singing because you're going for the right reasons. Can I get a witness in here? Amen. And we have to realize and learn to quit putting our trust in man, but put all of our trust in the Lord. Because when I put my trust in the Lord, when my circumstances start getting the best of me, I can re lean, lean, my, lean my head back, lift my hands up, and say, Lord, help me hold out. So y'all ain't going to talk to me, but everybody in here have been on the verge of quitting something before. Everybody in here been on the verge of giving up something before. And I'm not talking about something on that job. I'm talking about something in the house of the Lord. Can I get a witness? We all have been there before, amen. Somebody may be on that committee with us, amen, that just talk crazy sometimes. Y'all know I'm telling the truth. I ain't talking about nobody down here at 6801. I'm talking about my home church. Some people, amen, that's on there ain't on there for the right reasons. But that's when you have to ask God, amen, to help you hold out and pray for them that God changes their heart. God changes their heart. I learned, Minister Bailey, that in my waiting, sometimes I get impatient. Y'all ain't going to be real with me, amen, but like many of you in here, I really don't like waiting. When these restaurants came with call ahead seating, that's the best thing they ever done. Because I don't like waiting. But I realize that if I want to have that everything God intends for me to have, I have to learn how to wait. I heard the songwriter say that I'm just waiting on Jesus. Lord, I'm going to wait because one day my waiting days will soon be over. Can I get a witness? One day, amen, I know that he's going to answer my prayer. One day I know that he's going to dry the tears from my eyes. Y'all have a witness in here? One day, amen, I know, amen, that everything's going to be all right. That's why I stopped by this morning to remind you that every now and then we have to say, Lord, help me. Hold out. Can 
I get a win. I know you're tired of your body racking with pain. But sometimes you have to realize that many are the afflictions of the righteous. But the Lord will see them through. You just lift up your hands and say, Lord, help me to hold out. Should I get a witness? I know sometimes you get tired of your pockets being low. But you just have to say, Lord, help me to hold out. Because you still got food on your table. Your lights are still on. Can I get a witness? You still got gas in your tank. That's why you have to say, Lord, help me to hold out. And the reason why I'm holding out. Because I know one day my change is going to come. Is there anybody in here today that's been holding out, waiting on the Lord? And you don't mind telling somebody that you need to learn how to hold out. Because one day your change will come. How about you say it out? And you all right. See, I learned a long time ago, Briggs, that the Lord has to teach me. He has to teach me how to hold out. Because Satan will get the bother in you. Satan will get the picking with you. Satan will get the messing with you. So I have to make you think that God has forgotten about you. But I come to tell you this morning that God loves you so much that he woke you up this morning. God loves you so much that he supplies all of your needs. Can I get a witness? And because he loves me, I realize that sometimes I have to learn how to wait on it until my change comes. That's why I'm waiting. And then I'm in, I'll get down on my knees. And I'll tell him, Lord, I know you haven't forgotten about me. But Lord, help me to hold out. I don't know when. And I don't know how. But how many of these are I know you still can make a way out of no way. Is there anybody in here that knows you can make a way out of no way? Anybody in here that needs a miracle worker? Anybody in here that needs a wheel in the middle of the wheel? Why don't you say it up? And you're right. The reason why I continue to hold out because I know the story of the Lord. How to whip him all night long. How to help him on a whole rocket course. And he bowed his head and died. He went in that old body too. See, that's what we got to learn how to hold out. Because he was there on Friday night. He could have got up then. He was there all day Saturday. He could have got up then. But I heard somebody say, early that Sunday morning, he got up with all power in his hand. If you don't hold out, say yeah. If you know the change is coming, say yeah. If you know we can do it. If we learn how to hold out, better is on the way. If we can learn how to hold out and wait, quit trying to get in front of God and stay behind God. God will take care of you. He'll give you the desires of your heart. If we can just learn how to hold out. Give God a hand clap and pray.
day's journey. Thank you, God, for looking past all our faults and supplying our needs according to your riches and your glory. God, Lord, we come asking you to be with those in the hospital right now. God, Lord, we come lifting up Miss Wallace. God, we come lifting up Brother Boo Boo. God, we come lifting up anybody else who might be lying on their bed of affliction at this hour calling on the name of Jesus because they realize God they, uh, they hold it out until their healing comes God Lord we come lifting up those who may be at home right now but just may not be feeling well today God Lord we come lifting up Miss Nelly God we come lifting up Brother Jesse God we come lifting up anybody else God who may be in need of a healing today be with them, Father, as only you can. Yes, God, we come asking you to be with our bereaved families today. Yes. God, Lord, we all have been there before. Yes, yes. Where our hearts are heavy and our eyes are filled with tears. Yes. But we know that the God we serve will wrap his arms around us. Yes. And let us know, God, that you told us, uh, you never told us that they wouldn't have to leave us. You just told us that you would never leave us. But be with them, God, as only you can. God, Lord, we come lifting up those under the sound of my weak voice today. Father God, some come for one thing and some come for another. But God, we all come to you because we realize, God, you can fix it. God, we know, God, you can make it all right. God, you can change it, God, in the twinkling of an eye. Father God, Lord, I pray. That while we are waiting on our change, God, while we are waiting on our healing, God, while we are waiting on our blessing, God, that we learn how to hold out. Because so many times, God, we be on the brink of our breakthrough, but God, we give up too early. But God, if we can learn, God, to wait on the Lord, and you'll renew our strength. God, we realize, God, that you are the only one who can give us the strength that we need to make it day by day. As the songwriter said, oh, Lord, we need you to hold our hand. We can't make it without you, Father. God, we need you. God, somebody in here today, God, they need a healing. Somebody in here today, God, Lord, they need a financial blessing. God, somebody in here today, God, Lord, their family don't even speak to one another. God, Lord, we pray, God, that you give them the love that they need, God. Because, God, you told us in your word, God, to love each other. Yes, uh -huh. your, your word says, God, how can we love you who we have not seen and not love our fellow man whom we see every day? Yes. God, I pray, God, that we love each other, not just yes. our uh, uh, blood family, not just our church family, God, but mankind. Yes. Because we all are brothers and sisters in Christ. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Thank you, Father. God, we just thank you for being so good and so kind. God, we thank you for your grace and your mercy, God, because, God, we realize, God, the things that, that we deserve, God, you don't give them to us, and the things that we don't deserve, God, you give them to us. God, we thank you for your grace and your mercy that have been with us each and every day of our life. God, be with those. God, bless those. God, give them their heart's desire. You'll always be our God and we'll forever be your people. 
God, Lord, we thank you, God, for allowing us to come together over seven years ago. God, Lord, we realize, God, that it, may, it ain't always been easy. God, Lord, we realize, God, that sometimes we've had to cry. But, Lord, we realize and we know, God, that we just holding out. God, most importantly, we all are holding on to your unchanging hand. God, we thank you. God, we love you. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. amen. Lord, help me to hold out. Lord, help me to hold out. time of day. Amen. Amen. Again, y'all pray for uh, Brother Craig's family. Uh -huh. Funeral service will be Wednesday at 12 o'clock at New Bethel. Amen. Pray for them. And also, uh, Latika Hannah's birthday is tomorrow. Amen. Amen. Happy birthday. Amen. Happy birthday. Amen. We pray, amen, that something was sung said or prayed today to help you along your tedious Christian journey. I know sometimes it gets difficult. Amen. It's hard on all of us. Amen. Everybody's going through. A lot of people think that uh, the preachers don't go through. That everybody go through. We all got, we all in the flesh. Amen. We all go through. Amen. Uh, I told y'all earlier my buddy, his wife, what she been going through the last week. One of the nicest women you'll ever meet. Uh, but she's been going through, but y'all pray for her. Pray for each other, yeah. knowing that our God is able. Amen. Yeah. Amen. And when you feel like giving up, amen, go back and watch this message or remember this message. Lord, help me hold out. Yeah. Amen. God will help you. Amen. We just ask him. Amen. Yeah. Amen. Father, we thank you for what our eyes have seen, what our ears have heard. Most importantly, we thank you for your Holy Spirit dwelling in this house today. Father, we pray that everything that was done was done pleasing in your sight. For we did it for no form, show, or fashion. God, we didn't do it for us, but God, we did it all for you. Just to feel your children who thought it not Robert to come to your house of praise on the day. God, to show you how much they love you, appreciate, and adore you, Father. Amen. Father, as we get ready to part this place, but never, ever from your presence. God, we ask you to keep us in the palm of your hand. God, be with those in the hospital. God, be with those in the nursing home. God, be with the bereaved families. As only you can. Father God, Lord, just know, God, we will always remember that we love you because you first loved us. 
God be with us as we go up and down the dangerous highways. God Amen. protecting us from the seen and the unseen dangers. Yeah. Father, be with those that may be going in for testing and procedure, knowing that Dr. Jesus can and will make everything all right. Yeah. God, we appreciate you. God, we love you. We adore you. Forgive us for our sins and our shortcomings because we all just want a closer walk with thee. Now to him that is able to keep us from falling and to present us followers before the presence of his glory with his seed and joy. To only wise God our Savior be glory, majesty, dominion, and power both now and forevermore. And all God's children say it. Smile upon you.